Hello and welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Chelsea and it is so weird to be on camera right now. Um, if you didn't see, I did a huge collection and declutter series for my skincare and my makeup and we're not done but I wanted to break it up a little bit and throw in this type of video, which is another somewhat mini declutter of products that I had decluttered before I started my collection and declutter series, as well as empty products and to give you mini reviews on said products. So that is what we are doing today. If you haven't seen my skincare and makeup collection and declutter series, I will have that linked down below in the description box. Just for fun, I will also link the one from last year and from 2022 as well if you're interested. And yeah, that's about it. So let's get into the products. Okay, so I'm going to start with the products that I have decided to declutter. Now, this was decluttered not long after my skincare collection and declutter of this year, which is the Bioma gel cream creamy jelly cleanser triceramide complex with licorice root and green tea this is by far not a bad product i'm just not one okay there's a ghost in here i am just not one for simple cleansers i need something you know like this is just a perfect basic everyday cleanser there's absolutely nothing wrong with the product I'm gonna pass this along to my mom because I think she's gonna love it and it's about like I'd say at least halfway full if not more um again just want to reiterate not a bad product I just like my facial cleansers to be a bit more spicy you know like give, give me a little something like give me an acid give me a little exfoliation give me something for breakouts or oily skin you know just give me give me something and this just this is for people i don't know with like normal to dry skin maybe i feel like you guys would really like it again i'm gonna say it a million times not a bad product just not for me this same in my skincare and collection <laughs> Hello. In my skincare collection and declutter series from this year, I had decided to keep this. And then less than 24 hours later, I put it in my box of decluttered products because I just can't do it. This is the Nude Sticks 5% Citrus Fruit and Glycolic Glow Toner. This has grapefruit, lime, lemon, apple, and orange. You can see it's about halfway finished. I got through half of it. It's too sticky. And I think this is the thing with me and glycolic toners. This is why we like don't mesh because as much as I love me a, what do you call it? Like a liquid exfoliant? Liquid exfoliant? Because there's physical and then there's, you guys. You know what I mean, right? Anyways, um, so this, the thing is with glycolic toners is that they all, well, so far, all the ones that I've tried, they just leave this sticky film on your skin after. And even if it's a great product, even if it does work, I have sensory issues. I cannot deal with my face feeling sticky or oily or sweaty or dirty. I, ugh, I just, I can't. I can't. Um, so again, this could be a really, really great product, but not for me because I just, I can't deal with the stickiness. Another product that um, I enjoyed for a very short period of time, this was in my lip product collection and declutter series from this year. I had decided to keep it. And then again, less than 24 hours later, this was in my declutter box. This is the Jason Wu Everyday Lip Mask. Now listen, this smells great. It feels great. It's thick. It's, you think it's hydrating. 
but it's not. So I have specific products that I really, really like to put on my lips before bed. Um, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, the Too Faced uh, Pillow Bombs, the Tatcha Kisu Lip Mask, just things like that that are very, very hydrating that's going to stay on my lips all through the night because that is when I'm normally wearing like either a lipstick or a tinted lip gloss or something that might have a bit less hydration during the day. So at night, I want like maximal hydration. And this is one that as much as I like this, it completely evaporates during the night. Like you got halfway through the night, like there's nothing left on your lips and your lips feel dry. Um, so it, this almost like moisturizes them for a short period of time just to suck the moisture back out. You know what I mean? So I wanted to love this a lot. I feel like maybe if you wore it during the day, it wouldn't be as bad. I don't know, but I'm, I have so many lip products that I don't need to keep things in my collection that are iffy. So because of that, I'm going to declutter this. Moving on to this Sephora Collection Long Lasting Coal Pencil. This one right here. Long Lasting My Ass. Okay. Um, I tightline my upper eyeball. Um, so that way my lashes, my fake lashes and my natural lashes just like blend together seamlessly as much as possible. Um, so I need something that's very much transfer proof because if it's going up there on your upper waterline, that shit smudges easily. But there are quite a few eyeliners out there that work fantastically. I actually have one from Sephora Collection that I really enjoy that you'll see in the next part of this video. Um, but this one just ain't it. You put this on your waterline and it's smudged halfway down your face. Like how they get to call this long lasting, I have no idea. This was on sale. I don't know if it's a product that's being discontinued. I don't even know if it's still available, but if it is and you're thinking about buying it, I just wanted to put that out there in case you wanna save your money. It might be worth saving the money on this one and investing in one that's a little better. Uh, next product is this Franken Body Smoothing AHA Body Lotion made with lactic and glycolic acid to exfoliate while hydrating. Now this, I would have put this in my empties and given you a mini review, but there's still maybe about like less than a quarter left of this uh, because it's expired. I didn't use it fast enough. I did generally, genu <laughs> I did genuinely like this product. Um, I do feel like it made my skin very smooth. Not a fan of the scent because it's the same thing for all of these smoothing AHA body lotions. They all have like a really funky scent to them. Not my favorite, but to be honest, it the scent went away once the, the lotion was dry on my body anyways. So I did really enjoy this. I just unfortunately didn't use it fast enough, but I would repurchase this. And then last thing that is being decluttered from my collection are is this Kristen S. Extra Gentle Conditioner. Uh, the reason why the conditioner and not the shampoo is the, sh the shampoo is fine. It's a good gentle wash nothing crazy I do have um about half a bottle left of my Olaplex conditioner so I'm gonna use that shampoo with the Olaplex conditioner so I can finish both and not waste anything um but this conditioner didn't really do too much it was just kind of there you know um it smells nice it smells really nice it's like a coconut it's a light coconut scent um, it feels good. It doesn't strip my hair or anything, but in regards to like moisture, this isn't really like I know it says gentle, but there's a difference between gentle and nothing. You know what I mean? So yeah, so this is being discontinued. No, decluttered. <laughs> In my mind, in my products, this is being discontinued. All right, now let's get into my empties. So these are products that I used 100% and I have an opinion about them. We're going to go by category. So right now I want to do like fragrance and uh, body care. So I'll start with fragrance. This is very old. This is the Bath & Body Works Winter Peach Marshmallow Body Spray. This actually smells fantastic. Like, I'm a body spray kind of girl for bedtime. 
I always, always, always spray a body spray on myself after I get out of the shower, after I put like pajamas on. I feel like it's just a really nice addition to my nighttime routine. Um, winter peach marshmallow, if it comes out again this year or next year or whatever, highly recommend if you love sweet scents, but not overly sweet because it's not like it's straight up marshmallow or marshmallow ca cotton candy or marshmallow vanilla. It's marshmallow peach, so the peach kind of you know, simmers it down a little bit, but it's just a really, really, really nice fragrance. So I really like that. This is the Blossom Collective. I bought this so long ago from TJ Maxx. I got this bottle. Actually, I got two of them. It's a 100 milliliter or 3.4 fluid ounce Eau de Parfum, and they were $5 each. I didn't care what they smelled like. I just wasn't, I was not leaving them there. But luckily, they both smelled wonderful. This is the scent Sugared Flower, and that's exactly what it smells like. It smells like sweet flowers. I would say that this would be a really good uh, spring fragrance. You know, something like light and sweet and florally, not heavy on the floral, not heavy on the sugar, just the right amount with like a hint of freshness to it. So it's really, it's, it was a really, really, really nice spring scent to have. Um, I finished this a while ago actually, and I still have a little bit of the other bottle that I purchased. So that should be probably in my next empties video, I would assume. But yeah, if you ever see those or anything from that company, highly recommend to try it out. The lasting power isn't like the most amazing thing ever, but I have a very, very high standard for a fragrance, a fragrance's lasting power. Um, so speaking of which, my baby. Uh, this is one of my two all-time favorite fragrances in the whole entire world. This is the Alien Eau de Parfum from Mugler. Um, this is the 90 ml bottle. This completely done, but I get to keep this lovely bottle because it's refillable and sitting in one of my closets is the refill bottle. So I'm very, very excited about that. That means I get to break this out again. I wear this all year round, even though this is like a really, really great fall winter fragrance. Your girl wears this 24 seven and I feel no type of way about it. Um, and then last fragrance is the Clean Reserve Sparkling Sugar. This is just a little, it was a deluxe sample from Sephora. I think this is 0 0.10 fluid ounces, so three milliliters of perfume. It was a roller ball. And um, honestly, this smells lovely. It smells, I don't even know how to explain this. It's like a mixture, if you've ever smelt by this brand, the one called Clean, picture that scent, but sweeter. It's so original. I don't know how to explain it. It's really, it's not just a sweet scent. There's like something, I don't know. You just have to smell it. You have to put it on. It really, really is original. And the boys like this one. The boys really like this one. So, yeah. Um, moving on, we have body washes. This is the Cake Beauty Deserted Island Shower Wash, the raw Tahitian coconut oil elixir, and it's radiance enhancing. How fancy. Um, this, it was nice and thick and creamy. Um didn't strip my skin of any moisture, left my skin feeling soft, it smells good, but the scent is boring. Like, it doesn't smell bad by no means, but everything smells like this. It's it's supposed to be raw Tahitian coconut, which you'd think is like coconut with a little pizzazz to it, but it just smells like regular coconut. I don't know what I expected, but like, you know... It's one of the more expensive ones at the drugstore, so I thought I was going to get a little something something. Anyways, next one is the OGX Sensitive Plus Rose Water and Pink Sea Salt Scrub and Wash. I, sorry, there's a the glare. So I am in love with this scent. This smells like 
floral candy in the springtime. <laughs> so again, this is like another one that's like a sweet floral that just feels so perfect for spring and summer. Um, I highly recommend this. It left my skin feeling really soft, really smooth. And again, just the scent of this one is just beautiful. So highly recommend it. One of my all-time favorites is the Philosophy Iced Mint Lemonade. This is like a multi-gel. You can use it as body wash, shower gel. Body wash, shower gel, that's the same thing. <laughs> shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath. I wouldn't necessarily use this as shampoo. I don't know, just me. Um, but for shower gel and bubble bath, it's lovely. This smells so good. Oh my God. But I'm obsessed with anything that's like lemon or mint or lemon mint or like green apple. Scents like that make me so happy, but especially lemon. If you like lemon scents, try and find this. I highly, highly recommend it. And we know Philosophy, it's just, it's a great brand. Their products are really, really great quality. Last but not least in the body perfume category is this mini of the Sol de Janeiro Beja Flor Elastic Cream. So just this little guy here. I, I know this smells good, but I'm so tired of smelling it that it doesn't smell good to me anymore. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense, but literally the generation after me, so Gen Z, only wear this scent and Cloud from Ariana Grande and both make me want to jump off a bridge every time I smell them. And I own both. <laughs> I own minis of the cream. I own the full size cream. I own the body spray. Cloud, I think I own two body sprays. I had the actual fr perfume fragrance. Like, everywhere you go, if you're around Gen Z females, that's one of the two scents that they're wearing, and I cannot possibly smell this anymore. So when you see my perfume declutter, do not be surprised if you see something like this in there. The cream itself, fantastic. Sol de Janeiro makes beautiful, beautiful, beautiful body creams. Um, but I just get very tired of the fragrances very quickly. I had almost every single um, Sol de Janeiro product for the Boom Boom Cream. The Boom Boom Cream, I had the body spray, I had the perfume, I had the mini roller or the mini spray, I had the scrub, I had the shampoo and conditioner, like I everything that came out in that scent, I had it. That by the time I finished the last of my last product, I was like, I never want to smell this product ever again in my life. And now that I've had a break, I'm thinking about maybe getting the perfume again because I did really like it and summer's coming up and it's a beautiful scent for summer. But this one, the Beja Flor, so over it, I never want to smell it again. Okay, next category is hair care. This will be short and sweet. I only have two products and they are both Olaplex. I have a full size of the Olaplex number 4C Bond Maintenance Clarifying Shampoo. So this is their detox shampoo. If you haven't heard me speak about this before because I have multiple times on my channel, this is my all-time favorite detox shampoo. It gives your scalp and your hair such a nice, clean feeling without stripping oils, without it feeling super dry and like crunchy. It lathers very, very well and it smells really good too. So yeah, I love the smell of this. So 10 on 10 recommend that one. Next up is the Olaplex number 4D Clean Volume Detox Dry Shampoo. Now, there's not much to say about this. It does leave a bit of a white cast. If you rub it in enough, the white cast goes away. It does work very well. It smells very nice. It's a pretty penny. It's definitely more expensive than Batiste from the drugstore. But I love Olaplex and I love their ingredients and I love the way my hair feels when or after I'm done using their products. So yeah, I have a couple more of these as backup actually, and I'm very happy that I bought them in multiples because I love both of these products and I definitely recommend them.
So next up, we will do skincare. I have quite a bit here, and then we'll finish the video off with makeup. So uh, in no particular order, I have this Dr. Jart Sika Pear Tiger Grass Calming Gel Cream. Um, if you have oily combination acne prone skin, I highly suggest this. It's very, very, very calming to the skin, feels fantastic on the skin, and also wears very, very well under makeup. So 10 on 10 recommend. I have this Pixie Clarity Tonic to Go Salicylic Acid and Probiotics Clarifying Toner Pads, which looks like, nope. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to read my notification at the same time. So it looks like this. Um, they also have, with this line, they also have a toner, like a liquid toner. Um, they might even have like a mask and or a face wash. The line is okay. Um, I'm a little biased. I love just like easy little toner pads. I It makes my life so simple and it's super quick. I don't want to get into single-use products, please. I'm not saying that I'm for them. I'm not saying I'm against them. It just, it's not a conversation we're going to have right now. We're talking about empty makeup and beauty products. It's not that deep. Um, I did enjoy these. Am I going to run out to go get more? No, because I prefer the Oxy pads, which I know people are probably cringing for the fact that I said that, especially if you're around my age, because... Um, we used to literally burn the skin off of our faces with those and the St. Ives apricot face scrub. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, good times, man. Good times. But not a bad product. Like I said, I just tend to, if I'm going to buy a toner pad, I'm definitely going with the ones from Oxy that I have. Um, this is the Philosophy Purity Pore Purifying Foam Cleanser with Papaya Enzyme and Glycolic Acid. I love this face wash first of all I'm like a child you give me anything that's foaming I am so excited to play with it so there might be a little bit of a bias there but it smelled good it felt good it did not strip my skin um the glycolic acid in it I do sincerely believe that it did help speed up the process of healing uh breakouts when I had them so I don't know and like papaya enzymes is really really good for combination acne prone skin so I really like it. It's not super cheap, but if you're looking to try out a new face wash, I would definitely recommend that one. Next thing I'm on the fence about, it's the Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray. Like this, this went viral because of TikTok, I believe. It's always because of TikTok. Um, I really, really like this. I love the scent of it because to me it smells like a chlorine pool, which I know will probably deter some people, but just trust me on, like, just smell it. It smells so clean. I just love it. Um, love the feeling of it. Did I notice, like, this massive difference in my skin when I used it versus when I didn't? No. Did it feel good? Yeah. Did it help my skin in regards to hydration when I was going through uh, breakouts and needed a bit more moisture? Absolutely. Um, this also feels good if you put it in the fridge and after you get some sun, it feels really, really nice. Um, would I buy this again? Yes. Do I know why I like this so much and why I would buy it again? Not really. But would I recommend it? Yeah. So... That's my opinion on that. <laughs> Next up, one of my favorite new finds. If you don't know, Mask Bar has, in my opinion, the best eye patches, under eye patches, um, out there. And they came out with these Cairo, Cryo, no, Cryo Cooling Eye Patches. So they have, they're hydrating and soothing with hyaluronic acid and polyglutamic acid. You store these in the freezer. So you take these out of the freezer and you put them underneath your tired, puffy eyes. Guys, you get five patches, five pairs of patches for, I think it was $12. But I live in Quebec and I shop at Shoppers Drug Mart and their prices are ridiculous. 
Um, so you might be able to find these less expensive somewhere else. I don't know if they have the, if they sell mask bar at Ulta or something, um, or even Target. I don't know. Try these, try these. Look, I'm giving you a chance to screenshot, screenshot these, try these. You will not regret it. They feel amazing and they definitely do help with puffiness if you deal with puffiness. So moving on, we have two acne patch blemish patch situations so this is the mighty patch invisible plus the invisibly thin daytime patch gently absorbs pimple gunk in six to eight hours drug free and dermatologist reviewed dermatologist reviewed doesn't mean anything um comes with 24 patches and what i like is they're all the same size i don't know if this is like an unpopular opinion but i want the bigger of the two sizes always i don't want the tiny little patches that come in the boxes when they have multiple sizes no these come with one size patch and they're big enough to cover the full pimple and do their job properly i really do like mighty patch but more than mighty patch it's the biore the biore day or night blemish patches works fast to protect and help heal blemishes so you get 30 hydrocolloid pa patches these were you get 30 patches and these i believe on sale at walmart i got them for like 13 dollars, and these are 24 and i think i paid like maybe 16 at shoppers drug mart um i would go for the biore ones like the mighty patch uh is that what it's called yeah the mighty patch by hero the brand is called hero sorry it's not mighty patch the brand is called Hero, up at the top there, if you can see that. Uh, so the Hero Mighty Patches, I like them, but the Biore ones are fantastic. Uh, you use two of these and your pimple's basically gone. So these ones, again, only one size. It is the bigger size of the two that you would normally get in a multi-size pack. These work quickly, they work efficiently, and I love these. I've already purchased another box since finishing those. Um, this Bioderma Sensibo H2O Makeup Removing Wipes with Mistler Water, and these are for sensitive skin. Um, these were fantastic. I have never tried these before and i don't think i've ever really tried anything from bioderma i know they sell it at the drugstore but i actually found these at my dollar store so they were four dollars for a pack of 25. let me tell you the texture of these wipes the saturation of these wipes the way that they removed everything and left your skin feeling so soft and smooth and clean I haven't found them at my dollar store since, but I am going to go search once I finish my Neutrogena ones. I am going to go search for these at uh, either Walmart or the drugstore because these worked really well. Uh, two face masks. This is the Dr. Jart Clearing Solution Sheet Mask. If you don't know, this is one of my all-time favorite products. I use these when my skin is going through it. Not only does this significantly speed up the healing process of a breakout but it leaves your skin hydrated as well so you're not dealing with a very 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 potent stripping face mask for acne you're dealing with something that gives you equal hydration as well as medication for your breakout so highly recommend these i still have like four or five of these in my little skincare drawer Next one is the Pixi Vitamin C uh, Energizing Infusion Sheet Mask. This has caffeine, vitamin C, and ferulic acid. Love these. The only thing, like they feel good. Uh, they leave my skin feeling hydrated, plump, nice and juicy. Uh, the only thing, I don't know why. I have a couple more of these, so I'll get back to you on this. But so far, my opinion of these is that this is one of the most difficult sheet masks to put on. Your girl was on the damn struggle bus when I tried to put these on. It's folded into like a tiny little rectangle. You don't know which way is up, which way is down, side to side, unfolding it. There's like a million little holes and slits and slats, and I'm just like... 
I just want to get it on my face. Like, I swear to God, half the serum was off the mask by the time the mask was completely unfolded and ready to go on my face. So that's my only thing, but I did like the mask in general. Last thing for skincare, and I saved this specifically for last because we save the best for last usually. This is the Sol Wasu Ginseng Concentrated Ginseng Serum. I only had a deluxe sample of this from Sephora, and this deluxe sample changed my life. I'm not kidding. Since I had started using this, I have had one pimple. My skin has looked brighter and plumper, and it's hydrated. I have very combination skin, so I get super oily in my T-zones, but I also get little dry patches sometimes no dry patches, no overproduction of oil, one pimple since I started using it, and that was while I was PMSing, and that is normally when your girl gets like the worst breakouts. One pimple that went away in like less than two days. This serum is such a beautiful product. The only thing is that it's pricey. I think 15, a 15 milliliter bottle on sephora canada sephora canada is like 88 dollars so it hurts my soul but i'm sincerely considering it also because a little bit of this goes a long way it is a very spreadable serum um i this is my child like this is my this is my baby this is such an incredible product if you've ever tried this please let me know down below if you feel the same way because i feel like I have not seen such a noticeable difference in my skin with one product, like, ever. So, if you've tried this, please let me know. Please, please, please let me know what you Our think about it. Our last category is, of course, makeup. So, like I had mentioned before in regards to the eyeliner, this is the Sephora Collection Retractable Waterproof Eyeliner. I had it in the shade Matte Brown Black. And I use this, like, to the point where, like, I can't even, like, there's nothing left. I can't turn it up anymore. This one was actually great uh, for the waterline specifically. This didn't really smudge. Um, it's very pigmented, glides on very easily, doesn't tug or anything like that. So I believe these ones were on sale as well. So if you can get your hands on the retractable waterproof eyeliner from Sephora, um, I highly recommend these ones. I believe, I really, I, I really believe that they're still on sale and still available. So you should check that out. Avoid the other one at all costs, though. Like, just do it. Um, next thing is my disgusting beauty blender. <laughs> this one is to the point where like all, everything that you could see up top like doesn't come out anymore from when you're washing it. So I figured it was time to retire her. Um, Am I one of those people that believes that you need to spend $25 on a beauty blender? No, but to be honest, I do really like the ones from Beauty Blender. I have other sponges though. I have one from Kosas. I have one from Morphe. And the one from Kosas feels... Sorry, I just pulled this out of my drawer. It's right beside me. The one from Kosas feels as squishy as the one from Beauty Blender. And that's what I look for. I like squishability in my sponges. This one feels really good. So if that one's less expensive, I would definitely repurchase that one over the Beauty Blender. But honestly, I also have like a backup or two of the Beauty Blender because I like them. So... Moving on, I have the Velour Lashes Lash Adhesive. This is in the clear or white shade. Um, you know what? A lot of people claim that this is like their favorite lash glue. I was not that impressed by it, like at all. I could still get some use out of what's left in here, to be quite honest, but like I didn't want to. Um, I really, really like the lash glue from Sephora Collection. It's the brush on lash adhesive. It comes in black or transparent. I use the transparent one. It's my favorite. You could literally go through the apocalypse and your fake lashes will still be on your eyeballs 
that's how good it is. Um, I haven't tried every lash glue out there, so there might definitely be one out there that works better than the one from Sephora Collection, but I'm good with the one from Sephora Collection for now. Uh, but the one from Velour Lashes, save your money, get the one from Sephora Collection, honestly. Um, next up is the Rimmel Wonderful Brow 24-Hour Waterproof Brow Mascara with Fibers. The only reason why I'm upset about this one, because this is one that I've been using for at least a couple years now, is that this one was like really dry when I got it. So I must have picked up an older one. So I really didn't get to use this for as long as I normally do. That was the only downside. But the product itself itself is really great. The colors and tones that they have for blonde to black brows, perfect. Uh, the fibers are great. My brows don't budge. Um, they definitely look fuller because of the fibers. And I do think, especially for the price, that it is a really good uh, brow mascara. Next up... Actually, okay, we have two products left, and it's two of, like, my all-time favorite products. This is the Kosas Cloud Set Pressed Powder in the shade Airy. So, we're here. We're, we're, we're here. This is it. The lid has come off. I was scraping it, and I was barely getting anything on my, my puff or my brush. So, I figured it was time to send her to makeup heaven um i already have a brand new one that's open that i'm currently using uh it's like the third or fourth time i've purchased this powder because i am obsessed i have never had a powder give me the coverage that <clears throat> sorry the coverage that i want while still allowing my skin to breathe and not get cakey and not feel powdery it gives you the most flawless finish but without that heavy makeup look which is really something that I appreciate I normally I don't wear foundation I usually just spot conceal and then I do rely on my powder either just to mattify or add a bit of coverage if I do need it at the time um so this one is perfect for both I'm currently using the Laura Mercier loose translucent powder uh because I haven't really needed any extra coverage i had to spot conceal this little guy right here which is the one pimple i was talking about since using the Solwasu ginseng serum um but aside from that i just have on translucent powder so i haven't needed the coverage that i would get from the one from kosas but it is still my all-time favorite powder if i could only pick one i'm picking that one and then last product is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Creme in the shade Iris. I am in love, obsessed, living, dying, breathing for this lipstick. That's how much is left. Like, that's how much is left. This is a lipstick. It's not a lip balm. It's a lipstick. And I use that much. Let me swatch it for you just so you can understand. I haven't worn this shade in, in a while, actually, and just swatching it, my soul misses it. So this is what it looks like here. It is the perfect shade, the perfect formula, and the perfect long wear lip product. It's comfortable. It doesn't, it's not like smudge proof or, or budge proof or anything. Like it will leave a print if you drink or if you eat or whatever. Um but it still has a very very good staying power and this is just like my ideal color this is the perfect color for me so i absolutely love that i already have a new one that's open and i will continue buying this for the rest of my life so yeah that's it so that is it for my decluttered and empty products currently. The box is empty, meaning we are restarting. This is only episode two. If you didn't see episode one of the exact same type of video, that will actually be in my playlist of my 2024 uh, collection and declutter series. It's the first video. If by chance I didn't mention this 
at the beginning of the video like I usually do. Um, my lip combo, if you like it, because it's a little different for me. We normally don't go this deep of a brown, but I like it. Um, it's the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Anywhere Caffeine. So it's this one here. So Anywhere Caffeine is the shade number 600. And then I'm wearing this Pat McGrath lipstick. This is the Lux Trance, Lux Trance lipstick in the shade Realness, which is number 405. I'm doing this thing where, I will swatch this for you, even though you could see it on my lips. I'm doing this thing where I am going through my lip products and every time I use it, whether I use it once or I go back and use it another 20 times, I move it to a separate basket. So that way, eventually, whether it's in six months, a year, whatever, um, I will be able to see which lip products I used and which ones I haven't used, which ones I need to declutter because I just I didn't like them or which ones are becoming my new favorites. So. That is the plan for that. So anyways, I've kept you here long enough. I really, really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, you got to give it a like. It helps a lot. Um, if you haven't already, you should also subscribe. I've been on a roll with my videos lately and I always say that I plan to keep it up, but then you know life happens, but I will do my best to keep it up. And the next video will be very soon where we are continuing my collection and declutter series. So until the next one.